Hi, this is Ram from Lancelot Video. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about a voice changer that can be used with a PC and a Mac. Also, it can be used with OBS, Discord, and Zoom. It can also be used with live stream browser-based applications like StreamYard and Melon. Also, the best part is it's free. However, you can upgrade with many voices with a paid feature. Hey, Janet, isn't that great news? Who are you and what do you want from me? Okay, so let's go ahead and start by downloading the software. I'll provide the link below. Okay, so here we are in the settings. Microphone is set to Yeti Seraphone microphone. Output device is the same for me. It might be different for everyone else. The event settings, you wanna make sure that no popping sounds mode is checked. Also, mic exclusive mode is checked. Here are your keyboard shortcuts when you do live stream and you can also start on Windows. Okay, so we're all done. At this point, I do want to let you know that I have the Voice Mod Pro, which gives you a little bit more than the free version. We have the baby, the cave, etc. So you do have a variety of voices in the free version. However, I do recommend you getting the Voice Mod Pro because you have so many different effects and options here that the free version does not provide. Okay, so when you're ready to use a particular voice, make sure that you have Voice Changer selected. Right now there's no effect, but if I go ahead and click on Cave, you can get the effect of that I'm in action in the cave. You want to click on Echo, click on Echo, click on Echo, click on Echo. It gives you that effect. Some of these buttons, some of these buttons. Actually has this ambient effects option, which kind of adds a little extra feature which is kind of neat. Not all the buttons have it, but it's a nice, it's a nice cool effect that comes with the voice. And not all the voices have the ambient effects, but the ones that do are, it's pretty cool. This one has an ambient effect. Except that both my voices as you go through some of these voices, the ambient effects definitely adds more drama to a particular voice. So you can really have a lot of fun with these voices. Now all these voices are preset for you, but if you want to create your own voice, you can go ahead and click on Create Voice. Make sure that the voice changer is activated. And let's go ahead and play with the, uh, uh, say, delay, 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 reverb, stereo, stereo's a nice one to have because it gives more depth to a particular voice. We get a fish, gives you a chipmunk voice. And when you're ready to save a particular voice, like, you can just go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and click save. Close out, put it on your dashboard under your voices you created. Okay, so now we move on to setting our buying keys. So let's go ahead and set up number one as our baby voice, two as our cave, three as an echo, and what's cool is we can also use our ambient effect, we'll use that as a space bar. So as I talk, I'll go ahead and start using the buying keys. Also, let's not forget to use our voice changers, so. Like that? So one is our baby voice? Three echo, three echo, three echo, three echo. So here we have the ambient effect of the space bar. If you want no effect, just go ahead and set that up. And there you have it. Our bind keys are set. Now that we're in OBS, we'll go ahead and click on the plus. Go into video capture device. Hit OK. As you can see, HD Pro Webcam is what I'm using. So now we want to add audio. So we want to do use custom audio and look for voice mod virtual audio. Okay, and there we go. OBS is set up for voice mod. Okay, so let's move on to Zoom. Go ahead and click on the gear icon, video. 
Captures my HD Pro webcam. Go to audio. Okay, so now we have the Yeti stereo microphone for my speakers. Microphone here, we'll go ahead and look for the voice mod virtual audio. And there you have it. Okay, now we go ahead and click new meeting. Join with computer audio. Now we go ahead and click this up icon and make sure that our microphone is set to voice mod virtual audio and your speaker is coming out of my microphone for the Yeti. And that's all we have to do. And finally, the last piece here is Discord. So as you can see, we go into voice and video. Click on the microphone voice mod virtual and speakers for myself is coming out of the Yeti microphone. And then we just hit the X. And for Discord, there's additional steps that you want to make sure that you make changes to. In this case, the noise suppression is turned off. You want to make sure echo cancellation and noise reduction is off and automatic gain control. And that concludes our tutorial on Discord, OBS, and Zoom. Hey Janet, you've been playing with the voice changer again? Maybe. Come on, give me your real voice. Okay, fine. Isn't the voice changer fun? It's so much fun. Would you like to say anything to YouTube? Please like and subscribe. This is Ron Periello. See you next time in Lancelot Video. Goodbye, everyone.